From maximum security prison guards and bounty hunters to firefighters that jump from planes, we take a look at 15 of the most dangerous jobs in the world. Number 15. Logger In 2002, the BLS reported 104 deaths from logging, making it the highest on-the-job mortality rate per 100,000 workers on their list. That's a staggering number of fatalities for the industry, making these workers 30 times more likely to die on the job than the average American worker for that year. Most of the fatalities were due to death by falling trees, but when you're operating heavy mechanized saws, all sorts of other bad things can occur. When you hear the call of timber, you better hope the tree is falling where it's supposed to and not on you. Number 14. Bull Rider It's not if you get injured, but when. Any cowboy will tell you. Bull riding. Rodeo's most dangerous event and America's first extreme sport is the ultimate test of courage for cowboys. Commentators like to call bull riding the most dangerous 8 seconds in sports. That's the minimum time a professional bull rider using only one hand to grip his rope must cling to a bull to have completed what's considered a successful ride, assuming the angry animal doesn't first dislodge the rider with a vicious jolt. Number 13. Maximum Security Prison Guard Every working moment you are exposed to dangerous, ruthless criminals. Your job is to guard and control the most violent elements of America's rapists, murderers, serial killers, and gang members who are lifers in the system, with little left to lose and little regard for human life. They hate you for what you represent and who you are. If you show mercy, they won't. You'll be seen as weak. If you show no mercy, they'll wait for their opportunity to get even. It may never come, but then again, it might. Number 12. Iron and Steel Workers Construction workers, particularly ones that work on high elevations like skyscrapers, face all sorts of serious injuries and possible death in their pursuit of a living. Despite harnesses and other safety gear, falling long distances off tall buildings occurs more often than you think. There is a reason that the prices to ensure high-altitude construction workers are among the highest of all workers. Number 11. Alaskan Crab Fishermen in 2005, the BLS ranked fishing as the most fatality-ridden job, with 118.4 fatalities per 100,000, almost 30 times the rate of the average worker. But those statistics are for fishing in general, not for Alaskan crab fishing, which is infinitely more dangerous, about 400 fatalities per 100,000. The danger is threefold. The Alaskan fishermen work in hellacious weather that can toss them overboard to their death, the fishing boats take on so much weight from the 750-pound fishing traps that they may become unstable and are prone to capsizing. And the injuries they sustain from working with heavy machinery and gear can be crippling. Number 10. Professional Fighter Your job is to hurt your opponent so badly he can't get up again. The problem is, his job is to do the same to you. Often, to some degree, both sides are effective and sometimes the hurt is so bad that the fighter dies. Badly bruised faces, bodies, and egos are a frequent occurrence. While broken ribs and jaws make their share of appearances as well, a fighter gets hit so many times in the head over an average career that his brain turns to jelly, causing involuntary shaking, slurred speech, memory loss, paranoia, and a general decrease in awareness. Number 9. Atomic Power and Chemical Plant Worker Nuclear contamination is scary. You've heard about the horrors suffered by the Japanese in Hiroshima and Nagasaki from the dropping of the atomic bomb. On April 26, 1986, history's worst nuclear accident occurred in Chernobyl, Ukraine, when a nuclear reactor blew up, officially contaminating 5 million people. The radiation spread to Belarus and Russia. Anywhere from 100,000 to 500,000 deaths have already been attributed to this catastrophe making an atomic power and chemical plant worker definitely one of the most dangerous jobs out there. Number 8. Bounty Hunter Bail enforcement agents must chase violent criminals for sheer pleasure. They sure as hell don't do it for the pay, which is about $150 for the average fugitive. They typically earn their fee by getting a percentage of the bail jumper's bond. The higher that bond, presumably, the more dangerous the customer, the more a bounty hunter earns his pay. In many states, Bounty hunters are forbidden to carry firearms and therefore find themselves potentially outgunned by the bail jumpers they're paid to capture. Number 7. War Correspondent Kidnapping, torture, 
crippling injuries and death are all a real part of what can happen to you. You're in the middle of a war zone where Americans are hated. You can do the reporting, or if you like more danger, how about some on-the-job photos? In either case, your job is to get in the middle of the action and get the live scoop. You're a correspondent, but do you think the enemy knows the difference? If they don't, you're a target and you're in trouble. If they do, it may work for you, but then again it may not. Some war correspondents are even captured and held for ransom. Number 6. Alaskan Bush Pilot Flying small planes is not necessarily dangerous, but when you're flying in an environment where the clear sky precipitously turns into clouds and visibility drops to almost nothing without warning, the scenario of plane meeting mountain occurs far too often. When you can't see well, fatal crash landings into objects like trees or a suddenly rising ground take their toll. Hopefully, when the plane stops, your life doesn't. As measured by the BLS, this is one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. Number 5. Daredevil Not to be confused with the movie Stuntman, the Daredevil, almost by definition, crosses the boundary from stunt to high risk. Daredevils include risk-taking pioneers doing death-defying feats, from tightrope walkers parading over unimaginable heights to early aviation pioneers, to fearless men jumping over waterfalls. There was Sam Patch, who in 1829 was the first to jump from the top of Niagara Falls into the river below and live. Number 4. Offshore Oil Rigger You're playing with one of the most combustible materials in the world, oil. While the level of danger depends heavily on the location of the rig, a big floating man-made island, every rigger is in constant peril of explosions, drowning accidents, and from heavy equipment, and kidnapping. Riggers often work 16-hour shifts through the middle of the night, sometimes going as long as a day or two without sleep. If one worker in a team loses concentration, he is a danger to himself and his co-workers. With so many moving parts in the engines, clothes, fingers, and arms, sometimes entire lives can be sucked into the machines. Number 3. Smoke Jumper These guys basically jump out of planes toward fire. Lucky for them, they don't land in the conflagration. Unlucky for them, they sometimes crash into trees. If they get seriously hurt in the process, they're helpless until the ground crews arrive, much later. Heavily padded suits help shield smoke jumpers against trees. The Man Gulch Fire of 1949 was the largest disaster involving smoke jumper deaths ever. 13 smoke jumpers were killed by the blaze. There have been no smoke jumping deaths since that event, but jumping into large fires with little hope of rescue if things get dicey gets bonus points for the danger. Number 2. Urban Cop After all the common jokes about the donuts and coffee, being a cop, particularly an undercover, narcotics, or vice cop in a U.S. urban city is really dangerous. You're dealing with gangs, criminals, and drug dealers who will risk everything to protect their turf and their freedom. And they won't necessarily mind taking your life to preserve their own. Number 1. Suicide Assailant This is the most dangerous of all occupations and one that probably attracts the fewest applicants. The fundamental requirement, by definition alone, is to sacrifice your life while completing your task. Survival rate is practically nil. You have to be either a real idiot to fail, or suddenly wake up and realize that maybe this job is not the best idea. Whether you're talking Japanese kamikaze pilots in World War II, Al-Qaeda car bombers, or other types of violent self-sacrificial acts, the fatality rate is almost as high as it can be, making it one of, if not the most dangerous job in the world.